What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome. Chris and I today are taking a look at the Vituvia Reindeer. This is an e-bike, a 26 inch fat tire e-bike. It's pretty darn solid. Stay tuned, we'll tell you all about it. Okay, so let's talk about this Vituvia Reindeer. So it's a 26 inch bike and that of course is referring to the wheels. Uh, they are 26 inches uh, by four, right? These are big old fat tires. This is a big fat tire. You got some aggressive looking knobs. Um, and while we didn't test this thing a uh, whole lot off-road here, you know, that that's coming, right? We're going to do a whole video where we test this thing off-road. So if you're looking for that, stay tuned. But let's talk about what we have here. It is a large bike, and it's 70 pounds, um, so it certainly isn't light. So getting this thing in and out of your car, you know, can be a challenge. It's a big bike. 73 inches uh, from one tip of one wheel to the other, and it's, you know, up to 45 inches tall, 42 and a half to 45, depending on where you set the handlebars. So yeah, this thing is not not a super light, easy, transportable e-bike, but if you're looking for something big and fun, this may be what you're looking for. Now, it has a 750 watt brushless motor, uh, and that's in the back hub. It has a peak power outburst of 1100 watts. So this battery is 70, it's uh, 48 volts and it has 15 amp hours, you know, so that's going to give you, they say, a 55 mile range. Now, when you break that down, that's basically 40 miles all electric or roughly 70 miles pedal assist. Now, mileage will absolutely vary. It kind of depends where you're riding, how you're riding, what your payload is. So let's talk payload. Um, in the manual, it says 300 pounds, but if you look at the website, it says 400. So it's somewhere in that range. Let's call it 350. This is a class two or class three bike. So uh, you can get up to 28 miles an hour if you're pedaling really hard. They say that's the top speed. Ours topped out um, by default right around 24. And I could kind of push it up to like 26 on flat ground, but I wasn't really trying super hard. I'm sure you can get up to 28 or maybe faster uh, if you're really moving. Now it is a Shimano seven gear derailleur, uh, really smooth shifting, easy clicks um, and pushes of the thumb will get this thing rolling. Uh, the brakes are Logan uh, hydraulic disc brakes in the front and the rear, and they do a really nice job of stopping this thing. I believe they're 150 millimeters. I would have liked them to be 180 or so just to give you a little bit more stopping power, but they certainly do the job. It does have a nice suspension in the front. That's an X-Show suspension up front, and it does kind of help soften uh, that that load in the front just kind of makes things a little bit smoother i really do like that the frame is all aluminum and that battery is in that front down tube which really does kind of help uh, keep it balanced um, and actually you know i said it before it's 70 pounds and that's heavy but just kind of the way that it's built you know that does help quite a bit now as an e-bike it's gosh it's a lot of fun to ride um you know i try to both in electric mode in pedal mode and with pedal assist now there are five pedal assist modes i found pedal assist mode three to kind of be where i liked it uh four and five you know i feel like it's just doing a little bit more work than than i need it to you know if i'm i'm out riding a bike you know i'm doing it for some exercise so i like to do some work but hey um you know i'm sure there'll be times where i kick it up into four and five just to make my life a little bit easier now it does use a cadence sensor rather than a torque sensor which actually i kind of prefer so a cadence sensor means it, it it's kind of sensing the speed uh so you can just kind of you know pedal easily whereas if it was a torque sensor it's really kind of amplifying the work that you're doing uh, you know, I don't know if that that makes sense, but the the torque sensor you got to do a little bit more work for the motor to do a little bit more work, whereas the cadence sensor kind of feels where you're at, and then kind of adjusts the power accordingly. I really like that, and the thumb throttle is really nice. You you know, you just push your thumb down, and it essentially becomes you know a lightweight motorcycle. Now it does have a nice LED light in the front that you can turn on or off. And actually the tires are reflective as well, which is really kind of nice. It also comes with a rear reflector uh, that I actually neglected to put on. I remembered I was going to do that later, so I'll, I'll have to do that. 
There is a color screen that will give you all sorts of information, your speed, what power assist level you're on, the odometer, battery, things like that. And it is color, it is, it is nice, but I actually wish it was a little bit brighter. It just kind of seemed a little bit dim for my liking. But other people have said that it was bright enough for them. And uh, it is bright enough. Certainly can see what's going on. I just wish it was a little bit brighter. Now, there are a lot of modes and things you can do with this. You can ride it, obviously, just pedaling. You can do the pedal assist. You can ride it electric only if you change that in the menu. Um, or you can have it set to do both. So you can kind of set this bike how you want to do it. You can even adjust the sensitivity or strength of the pedal assist, and uh, it even has cruise control. There is even like a walk assist function that you can do. Um, so there's a lot of customizability in this uh, e-bike here. The seat is okay. You know, the saddle's nothing spectacular, but it's comfortable enough, and it gets the job done. It's easy enough to adjust. Um, you know, I'm, I'm about 5'10". I had it close. You know, I had it maybe two or three inches uh, up. And Chris is 6'2", and he adjusted it, and we had no problems. You know, it's just a, a quick switch and twist, and we could adjust the height of the seat, no problem. Putting the e-bike together was actually pretty easy. Um, I would say it took me about 25 minutes. Now, that is because I've done this before. So, um, you know, I would say give yourself 45 minutes to an hour if you've never done this. But really, you know, I spend, you know, a good chunk of time just getting it out of the box, cutting all of the zip ties away and kind of getting everything set. They do give you all the tools you'll need. Uh, I would suggest finding a box cutter and a wire snipper uh, that'll make things a little bit easier. But basically, you know, you're going to put the pedals on, you're going to put the front wheel on, um, and... Uh, the light and the rear reflector. You know, it's a pretty simple process. Then, of course, you're going to adjust the handlebars to where you like them, the seat, and uh, you're pretty much good to go. Maybe put some air in the tires or take some air out, uh, depending on how you like to ride. There are actually three colors for this e-bike. We have the green one, they have a white one, and they even have a snazzy red one. So normally this bike is $1,900, but right now it is on sale for $1,800, and they're even throwing in $300 in free accessories. So you can get a lock, a bag, some fenders, and even a, a rack to go over that, that rear, rear wheel. And there's even a coupon code down below. So if you use this link and use that coupon code in the video description, you'll save an extra 50 bucks. So go ahead, you know, if you're interested in one of these things, check the link down below. Now it is an affiliate link and that just helps support the channel so we can continue making videos like this for you. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up and uh, let us know how we're doing. We'd love to hear what do you think about this e-bike? Is this the one for you or are you looking for something else? Let us know down below. Hey, good luck everyone and happy pedaling.